Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, welcome to another video. I just decided that I'm actually going to upload this as like a random extra video this week because I wanted to film it and I was like, that's not really a video, it's kind of a vlog, it's kind of a video, somewhere in between. But basically next Saturday, so like two days from now when you're watching this, is Tom's 20th birthday. If you're new to my channel, Tom is my boyfriend and I wanted to do something a little bit different for his birthday. We're really not the kind of couple that give gifts as such, like we don't really have a buy loads of stuff just because we know that we have pretty much everything that we want we're really fortunate we both have like a full-time job so we would much rather have experiences and things that we can do together that is my version of like a better gift like time together so this weekend we are heading down to london and the plan has changed quite significantly the whole reason we were going down originally was because i actually had some work to do down there and then we were going to tie it in that is now not happening, we're just having a full weekend being tourists in London and I have planned four major surprises, well, they're not major, four surprises um, and Tom knows nothing about any of them. He has guessed one of them correctly but he doesn't know he's guessed it correctly and basically I'm going to pick him up from work now and we are getting the train down to London this evening. So the first surprise is that we are actually going to the theatre tonight, we're actually going to the West End. I haven't been to see a show on the West End since I was about eight and Tom has never been to see a show on the West End so I told him to bring some nice clothing because we're going somewhere nice and he thinks we're going up the Shard. We're not going up the Shard because we've already done that and I feel like a West End show is better. So that is the first surprise. I'm about to head to the station now. This is the outfit I have on. It's just a dress over a long sleeve top. I was actually gonna wear a different dress. Like I fully had my outfit planned. It was a pink dress, hence the pink eyeshadow. But I just tried it on and it really doesn't look right as a layered dress at all. It just looked really weird. So I swapped to this leopard print because this is easy and it matches the jacket I'm gonna wear. So I hope you don't mind this random video coming at you midweek. Let's get on with this surprising my boyfriend for 24 hours for his birthday thing. So each surprise requires some kind of ticket. So I have done four different envelopes. They're all here with different tickets in, different like things, basically like clues or just like instructions. And I think this was a cute idea. One of the surprises is today. The other three are all tomorrow. Obviously we're only down in London for the evening tonight and then we're there the whole day tomorrow. Okay guys, we are half an hour outside of London and I'm giving Tom, who is here now by the way. Hello. You haven't been in the vlog yet. You haven't been in the vlog in ages, oh my god. This is the first time this year. It will be. Yeah. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. This is more. surprise number one. Tom has guessed every possible London activity, but he hasn't got it right at all. <laughs> I'd mention this actually. Yeah, you did, but you didn't bring it up again. You didn't guess it. That's why we need to be that hard. That's why we need to be there for the right time. It is an event. It's not an event. No, it's not. Basically, guys, the tickets to The Lion King. Actually, I don't know if I said what show we're going to see. We're going to see The Lion King. Are you excited? Yeah, I am now. <laughs> we have now arrived in London. We're having the quickest turnaround ever. We are staying in a hub by Premier Inn, and we have actually stayed in this exact one before. When I turned 18, we came to London for the weekend. We went up the Shard, and we stayed in this exact Premier Inn. The person at reception was like, welcome back. I was like, Thanks. But now we are heading to the theatre. We're going to see The Lion King. It's on at the Lyceum Theatre in Covent Garden, which is so exciting. I'm really, really excited, but I'm also very hungry. And we have 45 minutes to get there, eat, and get in the theatre. So, is it gonna happen? Probably not. Also, my lashes are kind of coming off. We're just ignoring that. I like, I did them on the train, but I also feel like, do you really need lashes on to go to the theatre? Not really. Basically, this is the outfit I have on. I've kind of already shown you, I think. This is from Pretty Little Thing, and this top underneath. I get a lot of questions about this top. This is from Miss Guided. Um, they do it in a couple of colours. I think if you like a, a layered outfit. Tom, are you excited? I am. Are you ready? Nearly. We need to go. We have come to Five Guys. This is Tom's first ever Five Guys experience. How do you feel? I feel excited because I do love a Five Guys. I just never go. Yeah, well, burger's like your favorite food, so I really think you should love this. We got a small fries, but look at how many are left in the bag. Anyway, we only have 10 minutes to eat it because we need to get a wiggle on, so I'm gonna shut up. We've made it on time. Here we go, Lion King. Hopefully we found the right entrance. Oh, we are literally at the back of Covent Garden. We could have probably come a quick away. We have made it, we're in good time. We have very high up seats. This is the Lyceum Theatre. It's actually stunning in here. Oh, I am so sweaty. We just ran up the whole stairs. Obviously we were a little bit late and we're right at the top. And then we were like, oh no, we've got enough time to buy a drink. So we just bought a drink. Might need to take out a mortgage for the cost of the drink. 
but it's okay, it's fine, not complaining. It makes the five guys look cheap. It makes the five guys look, yeah, but it's okay. We're here for one night only, and my eyelashes fully come off, and I didn't bring my glue with me. I'm just excited to sing the song. I love the songs in The Lion King. three in the morning we've just got back we went to the casino in Leicester Square which I've actually never been to before we tried we wanted to gamble 10 pounds <laughs> turns out you can't gamble 10 pounds in London you have to gamble a minimum of 20 uh, that um, kind of didn't work but it was still fun it was just an experience we wanted to see what the building was like and what it was like because we like the casino in Hull and it was like obviously way way more like bigger wow words aren't working right now basically i need to go to sleep so i'll pick you up in the morning i'm so excited for tomorrow tonight has been so much fun i don't know how it got to quarter to 3 a.m but we had a great time in roadhouse that was so much fun if you're ever in Covent garden and you want a bar to go to that is my recommendation good morning, morning. <laughs> it is saturday and we have woken up we have just been chilling because we have something booked in half an hour so we really need to get going but Tom doesn't know what it is, and I'm so excited about this one. This is my personal favourite. Any last guesses? Well, it's food at somewhere, somewhere famous in London, but I don't know where. It's not famous as such. It sounds famous. It sounds. I have I have an idea what it might be similar to. Do you remember that place we went to in York or Leeds? We went for breakfast. Uh, and we went Bills. Bills. I feel like it might be that vibe. It's, it's not Bills, but it's. I know it's I love not Bills. Bills, but I just have a feeling it'll be similar. This okay. is surprise number two. Or is it lunch on, on it's, the it, it's No, it's not that. Stop with this whole shard thing. We're not, we're not going up the shard. Serial killer brick lane. That sounds scary. Yeah, but well, do you get the pun? Serial cool. killer. Uh, ah. Look at all the cereal. I know. Basically, guys, if you haven't heard of this, the Serial Killer Cafe is known in London. They have two. There's one in Camden. There's one in Brick Lane in Shoreditch. And they have every single cereal that has ever existed, basically, in there. Wow. And you get to, like, make your own and pick your own and, like, choose what you want and stuff. Watch me go for something really boring that I already have. Yeah, I'm going to get, like, yeah. shreddies or something. Nah, you have, we have to try something new. We have to try something new. I think you can pick a mix. Those Oreo ones are pretty cool. We had them, we had them in... Florida. America, yeah, we did. We had Oreo. Well, I think that is an American thing, isn't it? Yeah, it is so American. we wouldn't have had them usually right we're gonna go we're already late and you have to be there at the time I you're booking there were pringles to start with all lined up they're, they're all the colors you can't really see i've printed out a picture wow looks that looks a little bit like pringles yeah we've made it this is the most shoreditch location i've ever been in tom you know we're getting a photo out here afterwards but let's go in and get our booking first oh god guys this looks amazing <gasps> so cute this is so sick do you like it? It's cool, isn't it? Guys, I really can't decide between the chocolate one, which is like all the chocolate cereals. Chocolate cereals are my favourite. But it has a lot of toppings that I'm like not sure about. And chocolate milk, very chocolatey. Or whether to do the create your own. Also, what are you having to drink? You're having a hot chocolate? That is a killer hot chocolate. Look at that. That's ridiculous. Guys, this is literally ridiculous. Tom has a cookie monster thing with a hot chocolate. I have 
half crunch, half crave that's not crave, it's like this Nutella version with vanilla milk, a cup of tea, and we're just so excited. That hot chocolate is melting. I don't know which one's you need a spoon for that. It has Cocoa Pop ice cream on the top. They make this here, it's their own cereal version. How exciting is this? I've also put my hair up in like a 90 style to match the vibe of this clothes, but I'm so excited to eat this. I actually cannot wait. I feel like I look like the most shortage person right now, like taking Instagrams of my cereal and vlogging. It's so embarrassing. Try that. Is that good? Tom's got a caramel hot chocolate, salted caramel hot chocolate, that is now half all over the, the plate. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, I'm not sure if I like that. I think it's because I don't, I don't look caramel. It tastes like um, toffee popcorn. Oh my god, is it meant to be Mike Wazowski? Tom and I are in a thrift store. Tom's bought some socks. <laughs> They're very cool socks though. Oh, we're having a haul with Tom, they say. It's okay. It's okay. Tom's fanboy is coming out over the um, car. Look at the reg as well. That's so jokes. That's so jokes. Tom is now having a surprise number three. This is what this says on here. He actually already guessed this one. He gave it away for himself. Yeah, oh yeah, to be fair, you didn't know the theme of the room. Basically guys, we're heading to a Shoreditch escape room and we're currently waiting for our Ola. I'm actually working with them at the moment on like a brand deal, but we are loving using them. This is not sponsored. I'm not being told to say this in my vlog, but honestly, if you haven't used Ola in London, it's a new app. It's kind of similar to Uber, um, but it's just updated and it's also like by transport for London, which is different to how Uber was, but he's nearly here, so we're getting our car. Tom is here. Are you excited for your escape I am room? Excited. I'm excited. I'm not sure how it's gonna go because um, oh he's here, FL19. Um, I'm not sure how it's gonna go because it's always really difficult when there's only two people. I don't know how a two-person escape room is gonna be, but we're gonna try it. We have finished our escape room. We escaped. But we were rubbish at it. We had to get so, so many clues. That was probably the hardest one we've ever done. Yeah, it was. Quite I think because. It was a bit stupid, but it was good. It was, it was a little bit I dark. really enjoyed it them, just but there was just a couple of things where you're thinking like. We had to get so, yeah. so many clues. And also, there's only two of us, which made it hard. But we've come to Tottenham Park Road, we've come Tom shopping. Tom's found a jumper like. Tom's found a jumper Where are you looking? Yes. Over there. That yes. yellow one. Yes. Tom's gone for like, going through a yellow and orange clothing phase. Which is slightly ahead of summer, but it's okay. Um, but yeah, we've come for a shop for a little bit, and then a final surprise is taking place at like 4 slash 5 pm. It's not really a surprise that like, all of the things that we've done were like pre booked, but this is just like something I kind of threw in extra at the end. Um, but currently, we're just shopping. Oh, I like this one. I much prefer <laughs> me versus Tom <laughs> if we were colours. If we were pantones. Okay, surprise number four has brought us back full circle to Covent Garden where we started last night. So if you remember, we came here, we got off the tube, we went to the theatre. This is surprise this number four. Like yeah, clues. So this is not as much of a surprise, kind of just like a nice thing to do before we go home. I've never heard of this You've not heard of it? So I have half half reserved because you can't actually book, but basically we're going to Franco Manca, which I well as in like I knew we were gonna go there because you would like it and I've always wanted to try it but I've never been. So we're going to the Franco Manca in Covent Garden. Um there is actually one in Leeds which I used to walk past all the time on my way to uni. Like on the way home from uni I'd always see it and smell it and I'd be like, oh my god, I wanna go so bad. Um, and then they show up for some renovation and I never went. So we are going to go here in London. Are you excited? I am excited. As long what, as it's good. Of course it's going to be good. What are you going to get on your pizza if you get I to don't choose? Know, I don't know the menu. But if, what's your top pizza topping? Uh, You're going to say pepperoni. Fair enough. Oh, I'll pepperoni. Or pepperoni. I'll pepperoni. I'm really going through a pineapple on pizza phase. I'm so sorry about that. How do you feel, guys? Let me know in the comments. That's going to be a divisive one. How do you feel about pineapple on pizza? It's a no for me. What we're hoping is it's going to be quiet because it's quite early. Oh, here's the door. And it's not quiet. Food came in about five minutes. Tom, by the time Tom went for a wee, came back and it was here. Also, 
Tom just looks so good right now. Can we just say, like, I just think, yeah, okay. Anyway, so does my pizza. My pizza looks also like a 10 out of 10. I went for the number two. The way it works in here is you like order a number. So it's just basically a margarita with chicken on the top. But I'm also gonna add some chili oil, my new favorite thing in restaurants. Um, I discovered that I like this when I was in Australia. One of them, I think, should be chili oil. Tom went for number six, which is chicken and... Ah, funny, funny. Is it pepperoni or salami? It's chorizo. Chorizo. <laughs> we have a completely out of focus picture, but we have about 90 minutes until our train, so I've decided to come and get some snacks for the journey from my favourite place, somewhere that I ate from for the first time last week, somewhere that Tom doesn't know about. So I guess you could say this is surprise number five. We just walked through Chinatown. I think he's thinking like, where are we going? Any ideas? But it's a wonder somebody doesn't get hit by Oh, right, what? Any ideas? Of what? Where we're going? Uh, probably like a cookie place or an ice cream place. I know it's the same map though, isn't it? So it'll be, so it'll be ice cream. It's not ice cream. Cookies then, probably. It's, it's, it's very close now. Can you see it? Donut time. Donut time! We are back in King's Cross. I feel a little bit dead. I'm not gonna lie, we've done so much walking today. We've walked a lot and we've been on our feet for like the whole day, even when we weren't walking. So I'm very, very ready to get on the train. We're just sitting on the floor. We have had a dilemma though. This is the current state of the Primark bag. Um, and I'm not gonna lie to you, it was very embarrassing. We got off the tube at King's Cross and the bag just split, which is the second time this has happened to me in a week. Um, so that's embarrassing, but it's all good. I am a Muppet. I'm a very tired Muppet right now. Um, our train goes in 25 minutes, but they should call it in about 10 minutes. So yeah, how have you found your weekend? It's been really good. Yeah? You yawned, I've just made you a yawn. Uh -huh. <laughs> no, it's been really good. What was your highlight? Ooh. Mine was breakfast, 100%. Yeah, that was, diff that was different. That was yeah, it was different. Really good. Defo yeah, go, guys, that's if you're in London. The highlight was seeing The Lion King, just because... Even the food's obviously really nice and I loved it. You can eat at food, home. Food isn't why, it was just a bowl of cooking cream. No, it's it? not, yeah, yeah. We came so, here to have a weekend away and going to the theatre is such a London thing uh, to do. Yeah, it was really good. Really yeah. impressive. Good, I'm glad. Okay, apparently we're on the rattliest train in the world, but it's time for my donut time. Tom's already had half of his. Out of ten, what would you rate it? Probably a ten. A ten out of ten? Actually no, no. An eight, because of the price. Because of the what? Oh, the price. Yeah, that it, it was like a whole five pounds, but it's okay. If it was in Yorkshire, it'd be like three. So you just gotta consider that. Okay, guys, it is now the next morning. As you can see, Tom and I are home, and I look worse for wear. I need to wash my hair so badly. It looks horrendous because it's all spiky. <laughs> Basically, we just got <laughs> up. I'm dropping Tom off at home. But did you enjoy your day slash weekend away in London? Yeah, yeah. Two days. Yeah, it was really good. Yeah, it was. It was, it was really so good. so much fun. Oh my god, you look like you could be the Lion King in this. Yeah, you're, you're, no, you're dressed as Simba. I'm not dressed as anything. Comment down below, does he look more like Simba or Winnie the Pooh? <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna end this video here. I hope you enjoyed this little extra vlog slash video slash just basically celebrating Tom's birthday. It's actually not until Saturday. So it's his birthday in two days. Oh, we've been oh, doing by Lottie. Do you wanna be in this or do you just wanna go out? Anyway, we're gonna end this here. So I hope you have enjoyed. If you have, give it a huge thumbs up and I shall see you on Saturday with Australia vlog number seven, which I'm very, very excited about. We head to Brisbane, we head to um, Surfers Paradise. So it's a really, really good vlog coming on Saturday. So I shall see you all then. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> <laughs> Bye guys. Bye bye. <laughs>